as you can see here, I've installed a few plugins and I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through them. So here you'll see a test test.sql.go file, which has some SQL. And as you can see with the goal extension installed, which is here, you can see it's installed under WSL, which is what I'm doing because I'm running this under Windows. Uh, this is installed on the Ubuntu instance that I'm running to go from which has go there. And you'll see that when I save this file, you'll see that there's a couple of errors saying going. And this says basically that the D variable is not declared or, not, or it's declared, but not used. So we'll just simply print it and we'll do that. And it's one of the extensions that this provides. Now, let's say we wanted to manipulate the string and we wanted to see if it contains a star, for example. So let's write this quickly here. Um, Contains, call this just the real one, strings.contain, strings.contain, and we'll just go D, and we'll put a thing just to see if it has a star there. And we'll simply save it. On save, it added the thing. Uh, the Go extension installs Go format, Go imports, and all a bunch of other tools to testing. So this says contains is, is assigned, again, not used. So let's print it out just to make sure that goes away. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna go contain. Contains. And that should solve all the problems with our Go output. So this is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see here, you have the output window, but you also have a terminal. So for those of you who want to run uh, command line and not have to switch between things and run Windows Terminal, uh, here's another option that you may have. And as you can see, I can just go into the CMD directory. Oh no, the test code files here. So we'll just go go run, go run, go, geez, go run sql.go and as you can see it prints everything and it prints the fact that it was true uh, so it's pretty cool you can run everything and test everything inside uh, terminal here uh, the next uh, plugin that I love is uh, Dracula official now for some of you it may be something that you don't have a need for but for me I'd like to keep everything kind of dark and, and, and relax so it's easy on my eyes you can see that the theme has a bunch of default colors that are great uh, it's one of my favorite ones. It gives you a few options. You can use soft, which is a little bit lighter, um, or you could use the old G one, which is just dark, which is basically a cool dark mode. As you can see, it has nice um, highlights for imports, function names, and keywords. Uh, I think it's a really great font. Next is a way to connect remotely to Windows Sub Linux for, Sub -Linux for Windows. So basically, this allows me to connect through my Windows terminal to the underlying Windows subsystem, which is called Ironside. And as you can see here, you'll see that I have a project here that I'm working called called SQL Finder and as you can see it's the same spot this is one so if I were to go back up a directory and then go to let's run let's open the foo project inside VS Code if I just do that as you can see it boots up in Windows the same settings as before and it's pretty dang awesome um, the next one is to do highlight which is basically a cool way to highlight your to do's in your code base I'm a big one to write these kind of things into my code but oftentimes as you most know, well, you'll forget about where they are. So this allows you to quickly see them, fix the printing line bug, and that you'll that shows it pretty clearly. There's other keywords like fix me if you have something that you need to fix while you're working on something in real time. Fix the way this function works. And that lets you really highlight and it stands out to you in code. And my last, you know, in must install function is a pretty simple one which gives me fancy cool icons for the stuff in my finder here. As you can see, uh, it highlights directories as well as packages and files. So in the Go, you'll see that it's highlighted with the Go icon, our mod file, which is where this project's located. We'll also have a mod here. So those are my top must-have installed uh, extensions for Go programming in VS Code. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back soon.